The member for Longman has the call. Thank you, uh, Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. I refer the Treasurer to his new mobile app, the Fixagram, that allows constituents to identify problems directly with the Treasurer. Can the Treasurer outline the Fixagram solution to the $300 billion in debt and the $192 billion in accumulated deficits created by the government? The mining tax that collects 10 times less revenue than predicted, the carbon tax that is 32 times higher than New Zealand's, and a future surplus that relies on a 90 per cent drop in illegal boat arrivals. The Treasurer, the Treasurer will resume his seat. And if we are to have question time, after a question is asked, then some courtesy needs to be shown, or I will rule the questions out of order. The Treasurer has the call. Well, I do uh, thank the member for the advertisement for my app, and I invite everybody to, uh, to have a look, because the one thing that we do on this side of the House is that we deal in facts. And when, and when events occur in the global economy, we respond. And during the global financial crisis, we responded. We supported jobs and growth in our economy. And we were opposed tooth and nail by those opposite. Indeed, the Leader of the Opposition slept through the vital vote in the House, the one that saved Australia from recession. So everybody on this side of the House is proud of what we did to support jobs and growth in our economy. And we took on a responsible level of debt to support jobs and growth. And can I say I welcome questions every day of the week in this House from the opposition about jobs and growth and about levels of debt. Because we have a responsible level of debt to support jobs and growth. And the outcome of that is an economy 14 per cent larger than it was at the end of 2007. And we on this side of the House, and we did not as a country, go into recession. If those on the other side of the House would have had their way, they would have slashed expenditure, we would have had high unemployment, we would have had higher deficits and we would have had higher debt because there would have been enormous capital destruction, high unemployment and dislocation across all of our communities, particularly in a community like Longman. It would have been savage if your party would have had your way during the global financial crisis. So we on this side of the House are proud of the fact that we put jobs and growth first. The Treasurer will resume his seat. The member for North Sydney has the call. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd ask that you bring him back to the question that he was asked. How is he going to use his app to fix these the things, member given he's will invited everyone else to do so? His seat. The Treasurer has the call. Speaker, we have a low and responsible level of debt that supports jobs and growth in our economy and provides job security for millions of Australians. And this policy stands in stark contrast to the ones that those opposite are hiding from the Australian people, because they are putting forward a proposition for a commission of cuts. They're not going to tell people before the election what they intend to do. But what they intend to do, following the example of Premier Newman, if they're elected, is take the axe to expenditure and health and education, which would have a massive impact on the levels of Aston. employment in our economy. We welcome a debate about debt. We welcome a debate about jobs and growth, because we on this side of the House are proud of the 960,000 jobs created in Australia as a result of the actions of this government because we on this side of the House had the courage to put jobs and growth first. On that side of the House, they'll cut to the bone, they'll slash jobs and growth, they'll slash health and education, and unemployment and deficits and debt will go through the roof. Yeah. 